Okay, here's a super cool LSP feature that I don't see in a lot of people's NeoVim config, LSP inlay hints. Now, the easiest way to demonstrate this is by literally just show you. So for example, we have a complex function here where there's a couple of A, B, C, and there's a couple of Booleans, all right? Uh, so we're passing in two, three, four, true, false, true. Okay, what does that mean? Well, I can just go here and check, right? I can just do shift K. Okay, A, B, C are all numbers, and then they're all Booleans. Okay, no problem. However, if I wanted to know that without having to go all the way down to the line, shift K, and then like going all the way back up and carrying what I was doing, that's where inlay hints come in handy. So if I just toggle inlay hints now, as you can see, we have some virtual text, which basically just show us cool things about the function. So it shows us the A, the B, the C, the flags. It's pretty cool, right? And this also works with things like, here we have this add function, and it doesn't show a return value. Usually in TypeScript, you'll do something like, this to show that you're returning a number. However, you don't need to do that. You can do the inlay hint and oh look, it's returning a number, as you can see. And it basically just gets all this information from the language server. Okay, and this is something you have to do on a language server basis. So in your LSP config for your each language, you'll have to enable the inlay hints in the way that language specifies. So for example, in Lua, it's just as simple as doing hint enable true. In TypeScript, you've got to do a little bit of this. In Golang, you got to do a little bit of this as well. But basically, once you've done that, you can now get the inlay hints. Now, you'll also notice uh, in the bottom right there, mine says inlay hints enabled and disabled. That's because I have a toggle key map. So if I just go to my key maps and I go to the bottom here, here we go. So I have leader H, which basically does LSP inlay hint enable. And then it's just going to do the not of it is enabled. So it's basically just going to toggle it. And then I also have a nice little vim.notify, which basically just tells me if I've enabled or disabled it. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, if you do want to set up your language server, I've just got a little repo here that basically shows the configs. So for example, in Lua LS, this is what you need to do. In C Lang D, this is what you need to do. Dino LS, Go Please, Rust, etc. So I'm pretty sure if your LSP spots inlay hints, you'll find the settings in this repo. It's basically got all of them just here. So yeah, that's just a little feature that I've discovered recently that I've added to my config. If you guys like it, drop a like, drop a subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.